I'm very proud to be working with the Museum of the City of New York on the preservation of the Hamilton and Clinton statues by A. Weinemann. These are in our studios now after removal from the niches on the facade where they'll be treated uh, ahead of being returned. These statues were commissioned by the sculptor Adolf Alexander Weinman in 1940 and were installed in the custom-built niches of the museum's facade in 1941. They've been in place ever since and are an intrinsic part of the museum's building and facade. The sculptures are in very good condition uh, inherently, but the alloy, which is a very unusual alloy consisting of 16% nickel, uh, intended to give it this silvery appearance originally, led to it being a very reactive alloy that corroded very rapidly. And so they have this deep green and black appearance, which is similar to uh, unmaintained bronze, but in fact that was nothing like what they were originally supposed to look like. So the cleaning process uh, will remove that corrosion and expose the original silvery gray color of the alloy, and then we'll resolve the final finish through a combination of patination and coating on that. As these statues are installed on the front of our building, they're one of the first things visitors see when they come to the Museum of the City of New York. It's long been a priority for us to restore these statues as outdoor sculptures. They've been subject to the elements, so weather, wind, sleet, snow, pollution, and as a result, this sort of oxidation is bound to occur. One always has to be very careful when dealing with historical works because their, their value is in their age and their history and they signify the history of the city that's embodied in the museum itself. We follow the American Institute for Conservation's guidelines and ethics uh, for practice, which call for doing no harm, essentially doing as little as necessary and making it doc well documented and reversible as much as feasible. As a museum, it's our responsibility to not only make sure that these objects are restored, but in the process of restoring them, we're respecting the artist's original intentions. We also want to stabilize them so that they're here for generations to come. I'm delighted to be able to work with the Museum of City of New York to preserve their very significant statues that memorialize our founding fathers and what they contributed to New York City's history.